Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on Flash ADCs. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of analog to digital converters and explore the working principle of a Flash ADC. We will also demonstrate its functionality using a simulator, allowing us to observe the conversion process in action. Specifically, we will be utilizing a 50 Hz 3.75V sawtooth waveform as our input signal, providing a real-world example to better understand how Flash ADCs operate. So, let's dive deeper into this exciting topic. Before we proceed, let's take a moment to understand the concept behind a Flash ADC. A Flash ADC, or a parallel ADC, is a type of analog to digital converter that accomplishes the conversion process by comparing an input voltage against a predetermined set of reference voltages. This design utilizes a series of comparators, with each comparator comparing the input voltage to a unique reference voltage. The outputs of these comparators are then encoded to generate a digital representation of the input voltage. The primary advantage of a flash ADC is its remarkable speed, making it an ideal choice for applications that require rapid analog to digital conversion. In order to effectively illustrate the operation of a flash ADC, we will be utilizing a simulator. This simulator will allow us to visualize the conversion process in real time enhancing our understanding of how the Flash ADC functions. By replicating the behavior of a Flash ADC, the simulator enables us to observe the input voltage, the corresponding digital output, and the internal processes taking place within the ADC itself. This virtual environment serves as an invaluable tool for studying and comprehending the intricacies of Flash ADCs. To provide a concrete example for our simulation, we have selected a 50 Hz sawtooth waveform with an amplitude of 3.75 V as our input signal. The sawtooth waveform is a type of periodic waveform that starts from a specific value and linearly ramps up until it reaches its peak, at which point it resets back to its initial value and repeats the process. By utilizing a sawtooth waveform, we can observe how the flash ADC effectively converts the varying analog voltage into a corresponding digital representation. Now, let's proceed with running the simulator and observe the flash ADC in action. As the sawtooth waveform is applied as the input signal, the comparators within the ADC start their work. Each comparator compares the instantaneous voltage of the sawtooth waveform with a distinct reference voltage. When the input voltage exceeds the reference voltage, the comparator outputs a 1, otherwise, it outputs a 0. These individual outputs from the comparators are then encoded to generate the final digital output of the flash ADC, representing the analog input voltage. As we observe the simulation progress, we can witness the digital output of the flash ADC changing rapidly in response to the sawtooth waveform. The speed and accuracy of the Flash ADC's operation allow it to provide a high-resolution digital representation of the analog input signal. This capability makes the Flash ADC suitable for a broad range of applications that demand fast and precise analog-to-digital conversion, such as high-speed data acquisition systems, telecommunications, and image processing. In conclusion, Flash ADCs play a vital role in modern electronics, facilitating the conversion of analog signals into digital representations. In this video, we explored the working principle of a flash ADC and provided a demonstration of its functionality using a simulator. By employing a 50 Hz 3.75V sawtooth waveform as our input signal, we gained insights into the conversion process and witnessed the flash ADC in action. I hope this video has provided you with a thorough understanding of Flash ADCs and their operation. The use of the simulator allowed us to visualize the inner workings of the ADC, observe the comparison process, and witness the conversion of analog to digital values in real time. Flash ADCs offer several advantages such as high-speed conversion, parallel processing capability, and excellent linearity. These characteristics make them ideal for applications that require rapid and accurate digitization of analog signals. By leveraging a parallel architecture with multiple comparators, Flash ADCs can achieve high-speed conversion rates, making them suitable for use in data acquisition systems, audio processing, video encoding, and other time-critical applications. 
It's important to note that flash ADCs typically require a larger number of comparators compared to other ADC architectures to achieve high resolution. The number of comparators is directly proportional to the desired resolution of the ADC. For example, an 8-bit flash ADC would require 2 to the power of 8 equals 256 comparators. As a result, the implementation complexity and power consumption can increase significantly with higher resolutions. Furthermore, flash ADCs are limited in terms of their dynamic range. The reference voltages must cover the entire range of the input signal to ensure accurate conversion. This requirement becomes more challenging as the resolution and input voltage range increase. Consequently, flash ADCs are often used in applications where the input signal has a relatively narrow range or when a lower resolution is acceptable. In summary, flash ADCs are powerful devices for fast and precise analog to digital conversion. They utilize a parallel architecture and an array of comparators to compare the input voltage against a set of reference voltages, generating a digital output that represents the input signal. Through the use of simulators, we can observe and understand the operation of flash ADCs, gaining insights into their behavior and characteristics. I hope this video and explanation have shed light on the fascinating world of flash ADCs and their role in converting analog signals into digital form. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos on various aspects of electronics and technology.